hit yeah. the hit the Biochan. Someone made this for us. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Welcome back, everyone, to another wonderful episode of Oh Yeah, the podcast about stories that make you go, Oh Yeah. I'm one of your hosts, Benny Putz, sitting across from me as always. Ben Weber, and joining us is a secret guest we'll tell you about in a minute. Yeah, just a moment here. But before you get to know about our super secret <laughs> guest, dude, the biggest get this podcast has ever gotten. We really swung for the fences and got you guys something nice. Something special. We need to tell you how you can help us out, and that's by telling people about the podcast or however you see fit to help us out, rating and reviewing on all the platforms. Yes. Or monetarily Ooh, our favorite patreon.com forward slash oh, oh yeah, yeah pod. pod you're yeah. gonna get the podcast a week early as well as the bonus patreon episodes yes today we are concluding star wars episode three hit them with the wilhelm we did it yeah yes yes well, and we've made uh, it. a culmination a culmination and we brought on a very fun guest he is uh one of the, I would say, father figures of comedy uh, in our stand-up scene. Yes. Uh, the Mount Rushmore of Lincoln comedy, yeah. forefather. Think of him like yeah, George he's Washington. Teddy in the crevice. Teddy in the crevice, dude. Yeah. He's George Washington before he went gray. Everyone, <laughs> our good friend, Will Doherty. Will Doherty, everyone. <laughs> wow. I'm Lincoln and Washington. <laughs> oh shit! On the Lincoln comedy scene. Oh my god! Mount Rushmore. Oh, I see what you mean. I was like, "Well, you're from Washington too. Which one?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude, you're right. Uh, you're not Teddy in the crevice. Come on, man. Teddy in the crevice is a good one. Yeah, dude. No, he had glasses, I'm right? two of them. One of them is blank somehow. Yeah. And then I don't know. <laughs> the other one is Serenity. I'm taking all of them. Yeah, take them all, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will Doherty has an important thing for any comedy scene, which is he's part of the married couple who does stand-up comedy. Yes. Is there is that an important thing in every comedy scene? I think There's so. There's like a weird married couple. <laughs> You, I mean, it's weird because like normally you need a married couple to like have comedians who have a the perspective of being married on stage. Mm -hmm. I, but you and Serenity, you guys are both so, I mean this in the nicest way, weird that it's such a unique perspective that really it's still just only unique to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool at the same time. But yeah, we need the stand-up married couple to be like, we're the, we're the people who do this and are crazy and still love each other somehow. <laughs> You, you need to have proof that uh, you can be a comedian and still deserve love. Yes. That <laughs> that's it. That's it. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Ham uh, and Brian are coming in like treading on your territory, honestly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'd be like fucking, <sighs> you know, stomping in the ground. <laughs> what are you doing around here? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. No, yeah. How do you no, feel about taken, that? No, they've taken, yeah, they're going to have my spot on Rushmore pretty soon. Yeah, dude. I'm, no, you guys they're all gonna share get, it. That's they're going to get is. Lincoln, and then I'm going to lose Washington, too, somehow. <laughs> I, yeah, dude. And it's such a good state. There's, like, a lot of, like, fruit there. You know, apples. They're some mm -hmm. of the best apples. Tons of apples. <laughs> In North Dakota? No, just uh, Washington. Are, yeah. I was I was going oh, back Washi to the Washington. Oh, we're back to Washington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I was referencing my misinterpretation <laughs> <laughs> because I'm very self-referential. Well, uh, when so I this heard is, about is your, your podcast is mostly about the local comedy scene. Yeah, well, no, the, that's what we're. This is a teaser for the Patreon where it will kind of be about the local <laughs> comedy scene. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll get into the episode. Here. We'll get into the episode too, where we just had you on because uh, you are. I think, I think you're someone who especially comedically has a voice on what's happening around you societally and how things affect societal stuff. I, do you pay attention to that shit? I feel like you do. Do you agree with that statement? Um, I have some, I mean, I have some political jokes and shit, but like way less so now. Like I definitely had some Trump jokes, but the main I one mean of my the jokes. goofy stuff. I mean the, how oh. the goofy stuff affects society. The goofy stuff everyone does. The stuff that like doesn't make sense. Oh, that's like classic observational yeah. humor. 
Uh, I was sure. trying to dress it up to be like, hey, you know how you do that thing that everyone <laughs> hey, does? Hey, you know that totally normal fucking milk toast Jerry yeah. Seinfeld bullshit? But when you do it, it's art. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, dude, okay, so literally uh, I one of the reasons we had you on was because I feel like you might have a good perspective on these movies because part of what Oh Yeah is, if uh, Will doesn't know already or the audience needs a reminder, is we're going to be analyzing kind of its effect on society as a whole, as well as any nostalgia you have around that time it came out, anything around then. And you, you, know? have, a, you have a little bit older perspective than we do. We were yeah. very young when these were coming out, so you can have maybe a different, uh, sure. a different angle. Well, you know, I, like, what I were mean, the teenagers saying? <laughs> I, have, I have kind of a weird relationship with Star Wars. Okay. Do you guys... Uh, or yeah. do you know? Yeah, give us your give us your take on Star Wars as a whole before we hop into specifically Episode Three, so we can get an idea of kind of your viewpoint yeah. on it. Okay, well, uh, but uh, keep it tight. I was. <laughs> 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 Have you literally ever seen me at an open mic? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, dude, I had to fucking light call. Him, I had to him. call down Kent once to just let you have two more minutes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, okay, I. Uh, when I was growing up, when I was a young man, uh, was when the prequel trilogy was coming out. Mm. Um, obviously, I, th- I think, it, like, you guys were very, very young if you yeah. were alive when those movies were coming out. Were you at all? Yeah, I, yeah. I remember going to the third one in theaters. That's the only one I remember. I, okay. I wasn't allowed to watch the third one until I got a little bit older. Okay. Oh, yes, I got that. Yeah, because it was that <laughs> first PG thirteen Star oh, Wars movie. Yeah. That was a real stepping yeah. stone for the franchise. Mm-hmm. Intense. Um, uh, so I was right in like the peak marketing demographic for Episode One. I was I don't know exactly how old, probably like twelve or thirteen when Episode One was coming out. So wow. I was right in the demographic. Yeah. But also, um, I had never seen the original Star Wars trilogy when what? episode one was coming out. Oh. And so I made a conscious decision not to. I was just like, this is a weird thing about me, but these movies seem to be this huge like cultural phenomena. I'm oh, going to be wow. one of a handful of people on the face of the earth who watches all of the Star Wars movies sequentially. I love that. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah, so you literally got... I would, that was, that wasn't technically my experience, but like that feels like my experience as well because of like when the prequels were coming out and when I watched the movies, like in my head, I've seen them in that order my whole life. Yeah. And so they right. are one, two, three, all through. What was that like? Was it like, did you like them more? Cause then you don't have all that well, nostalgia for the old ones going into the prequels. No, I, I had no nostalgia going in. That's kind of dope. You were like a, you were a human time capsule, dude. I hadn't seen them. I couldn't have a nostalgia for them. Like, That's I was still so vaguely funny. aware of Star Wars, but I didn't even have, like, the cultural awareness you would have now of it. Yeah. Like, there weren't, there weren't, like, you know, ten episodes of robot chicken parodies of yeah. Star Wars that you might have just absorbed. I or forgot like, about those, yeah. dude. Those were dope <laughs> as shit, dude. Yeah. Or like full length episodes for all three movies in the trilogy of like Family Guy episode parodies. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. You can never have seen Star Wars and still know the entire plot of Star Wars beat for beat. For yeah. sure. Yeah. That yeah. wasn't my experience. Really? You okay. didn't. So even the like, uh, I feel like I'm spoiling it for you for some reason, but <laughs> even though, like, <laughs> Luke, I am your father, that yeah, shit. Yeah, so that's exactly how much I knew. It was oh, you that. didn't know that. So that was, was just the that. line. Okay. It was the very, very common, like, yeah. cultural references, and that was the extent to which I knew. Okay, Weird. it um, was it was such a, yeah, it was such a wild time for those movies because, like, there was so few things coming out that, like, Star Wars had that big of an impact in society. Like, when was the last time a movie came out that that happened with, where everyone was, like, doing bits about it. I feel like it's just, there's so much coming out now that it's not happening as much. It's like Avengers. I feel like yeah. Marvel's the latest. And, yeah, I was going to say Endgame was yeah. probably the yeah. last yeah. The snapping felt like yeah. it had the biggest, that yeah. level of cultural cachet. Dude, what's crazy about your experience with it is I feel like these are very referential. That's what, like, we talked about that mm. a little bit before. These are so referential to the previous. So oh, coming yeah. in with a fresh perspective Insanely of, like, so. What the fuck, you know, it could be a whole new, I don't, I don't know that perspective because yeah. I loved four, five and six. I watched all those right. yeah. first. We owned those. So it was like a, yeah. Yeah. 
the, you guys owned the like uh, the VHS tapes of four, five, six. So I was. Like, oh, you addicted. even had the proper ones, but the pre-special editions, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was beautiful. Dude. Like the New old Hope. edition lightsabers, the way they edited. Oh, that's like a total nerd thing. It if was we get into garbage, that, garbage though, dude. It was very bad. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Very bad quality. So, <laughs> um, but I loved it. I I watched uh one, two, and three episodes one, two, and three in theaters like as they came out growing up. So while I was growing up, the prequels were my experience of Star Wars. That's what Star Wars, that's what nostalgic Star Wars is to me. That's fucking dope. Dude, we all connected in a weird way just then. Because that's ours. Yeah. I thought for sure yours would be four, five, and six. Yeah, no, you said explicitly that that's why you brought me here to be the grumpy old guy. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Who's mad about the prequels. Dude, because uh, oh, here's a thought that we've had. Uh, I think one of the bigger things we've pulled away so far is these movies in these, like, trilogies, what we've realized now that we have a big enough sample size with 4, 5, and 6, 1, 2, and 3, and the, like, new, new ones, you know, 7, 8, and 9 that have came out, like, they're just benchmarks for what special effects are because it's the same story every time. <laughs> and it's just how they get a giant crop of young kids into their brand and then they disseminate them amongst their <laughs> Disney market pool. <laughs> yeah. It makes so much sense, though, that you wouldn't have seen them. Because what kid wants to go back and watch that shitty old movie? Yeah. As, you know, Ray is coming out, you know, exactly. and doing her shit with fucking Adam Driver. I don't even remember his fucking name, <laughs> yeah, dude. dude. Uh, Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren, dude. Yeah, I, dude. They don't even register as real movies to me right now. So, my my original... <laughs> we haven't accepted them yet. Into yeah, yeah, the... we'll get into them eventually. <laughs> yeah. My my original goal, <laughs> my original plan, what I wanted to do was, like, I'm going to go see all of the Star Wars movies in theaters in order. Uh, and so I went to 1, 2, and 3 as they came out, and I just kind of assumed, like, at some point, I'll find a theater, there'll be somebody showing 4, 5, and 6, For or sure. they'll do some new special edition re-release. Yeah. Uh, and I just never, never happened upon it. Uh, I never got there. And so when episode seven was coming out after Disney bought them and they were starting the new trilogy, I was like, Fuck, I guess I have to watch Star Wars now. <laughs> uh, and so in like a weekend before I went to see episode seven, I watched four, five and six in a row. Damn. Uh, and that was my experience seeing the original Star Wars trilogy for the first time. And uh, can you sum up your thoughts on yeah. the original trilogy trilogy before we dive in deeper to the prequels? So that is a terrible way to watch like a movie franchise. Yeah. <laughs> a All really three together. really poorly. Yeah. Well, and it's the fact that I did that is why I think so poorly of episode 7 because I went, I watched the prequels, and the prequels are these weird auteur George Lucas like solo shows. Yeah, where special effects finally um, could kind of capture what yeah. might be in his brain. They're they are incredible looking movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah I still really to this enjoy. day. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah, no, they the the effects in I I rewatched episode three for the for the podcast, and yeah. visually it absolutely holds up. Deal, dude. Yeah. General Grievous in that scene looked Fucking crispy. Uh, crispy, but. My so the reason I have such a low opinion of episode seven is that ep- episode seven is so explicitly a self conscious attempt at being a return to form. For like, oh, we need to go back to the old because people were mad about the prequel trilogy. Yeah, and Di- I Disney bought it, and we need to keep this fucking money train going. So we need to mm-hmm. go make an old fashioned st- Star Wars movie after you know thirty years or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As but, opposed to letting the story grow. Yeah. But my experience, and well, and for people who were huge fans for a long time, for the huge number of them who didn't like the prequel trilogy, like that, I'm sure that was a welcome return to form yeah. in some way. But my experience of it was an entire childhood of the prequels being Star Wars, four, five, and six in a weekend, and then seven, which is literally just four again. Yeah. Uh, so I was just like, this is the fourth fucking movie in a row I've had to watch about people blowing up a Death Star. Do fucking anything else. Uh, which is why I think in my experience, eight is maybe my favorite Star Wars movie. Uh, because like 
They went from seven. Just don't do another movie where you have to blow up a fucking Death Star. And they didn't. And Ryan Johnson like made a weird Star Wars movie. Uh, and then nine was hot trash. Yeah, uh, yes, I would agree with that. I need to rewatch eight, I think, because I can't even. That's where. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Han Solo dies. Right. Is that seven or is that eight? I uh, no, no that's that's the uh, end of seven. That's the end of seven. Yeah. Damn, dude. I do not even remember eight. (laughs) (laughs) I saw those movies. The only thing the only thing you need to remember is uh, Luke Skywalker drinking uh, blue alien titty milk. (laughs) That's all you need. I do remember that. Yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Gross, bro. Uh, but dude, yeah. So, but like episode three, I think is a important. <laughs> <laughs> episode three uh, was like a good one because it was, I feel like, the way to be like, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get everyone on board. It's PG thirteen. We're gonna get edgy, and this yeah. is the culmination of every little boy's wet dream, every fourteen year old's <laughs> little wet dream of an action movie. Lightsabers, battle droids, bunch of guns. Let's yeah. fucking do it. And I just fucking love that about that movie, dude. Yeah, it dude. fucking gets into the gross and grimy details of it. The uh again, my my experience watching that movie the first time, I like again, even rewatching it now, there's a lot I really like about that movie. Yeah. yeah. The the effects are rad. A lot of like the dumb cartoony stuff I actually like a lot. Like that's mm. kind of one of the through lines with my experience in the Star Wars movies as a whole. The things that like nerds want to be mad about being stupid are my favorite parts. Uh like Ewoks in Return oh, of the Jedi, yeah, the Ewoks. fucking amazing, hilarious, yeah. Uh, General Grievous in Episode Three, that there's a fucking robot that has a hacking smoker's cough somehow. Oh, dude, dude, that had me phenomenal. so confused today. Dude. I was like, what? I, why didn't I question this before? <laughs> he was a coughing droid. What the fuck, dude? Dude, the and the fact that he has a bunch of fucking lightsabers, dude. The four arms and that battle, the oh, Obi Wan battle. battle. That's, that's, a a, great that's one of the. I think that's one of the all time Star Wars battles in the whole franchise. He's he's slept on, I think, because he came out of nowhere. I almost forgot he was going to be in it, and then in this one, yeah, Dooku dies, and I was like, oh shit, Grievous <laughs> yeah, time, dude. boy. They need a little bit of Grievous in there, dude. They just yeah. need to toss in. They needed like a in between in limbo villain while a uh, Dooku was dead before they could reveal yeah. Palpatine, and they came up with this fun character, General Grievous. And that's what's, dude. I love it because he was such a big in my childhood experience of star wars all the games and stuff he's in he was like a yeah huge dude. character but he's not he was in the movie for like 45 minutes and then he's gone for the whole trilogy that's dude, it but grievous is an example of one of the things star wars is doing well i think which yeah. is like general grievous is such an interesting character in episode three that it sparks off so many storylines for them to do stuff within, like, the TV show series. Because, like, that's where I think they're going to flesh out other stories. Because, like, you're right. Coughing Robot is so cool. And in the animated stuff, I don't know if you guys have seen those. Oh, he is Yeah, dude. He is. I've seen a couple episodes. And they flesh out his character, and it gets even doper. Wow. You know? Maybe I should watch it. Dude. Maybe you should watch them all. Maybe you should watch them all, dude. I, I realized during this how big of a fucking Star Wars nerd I am, dude. Big time. I want to start playing the games again. Yeah, All dude. I could think about when this one started was just Star Wars Battlefront 2. Yeah. There was a video game that came out, uh, like, it's it's one of those that just comes out with a movie. It's basically a full playthrough of the movie, you know? It was probably released by EA or some shit. Oh, that yeah. That game was so fun, bro. You get to play through the entire plot of the movie. You get just fucking immersed in the goddamn world, oh, dude. And that's what I love about this shit, bro. When they were giving us Lego Star Wars and Battlefront and then that game, and my mom was like, this one's okay. <laughs> the violence is okay because it's Star Wars. Yeah, dude. Oh, dude. Dude, okay. This is I, George Lucas is a fucking G for doing this for us, dude. Yeah. In every household where you weren't allowed to play violent video games, the fact that the bad guys in Star Wars are droids changed the game. Yeah, or clones. Clones. You know, they're they, faceless. He dehumanized <laughs> so good, dude, he to the did. point. <laughs> Those just, clones yeah. were just, who gives a fuck? They're a dime a dozen. Yeah, I, dude. I, I feel like it's important to point out at this point that the bad guys in Star Wars are fascists. That's yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, they're just faceless people. They're, they're faceless who fascists. Who cares? You're taking the wrong lesson from this. The, 
Uh, but it was a G move. I do see what you mean. Yeah, dude. Just because, so that, goddamn. Mama Puss wasn't going to let me kill other people, but I'm like, hey, it's just droids. I yeah. can do that. Grand Theft Auto was off the table. Yeah. Yeah. Call of Duty, even. No way. Yeah, and those were fascists too. <laughs> yeah. You couldn't you couldn't kill Hitler. That was not No, she allowed. did let me. Yeah. yeah, Call of Duty was allowed was when a, I was like, "Oh, I love World War II." And watching <laughs> Band of Brothers. I read Band of Brothers, you We're know? learning dude, about history. You had to read Band of Brothers to earn Call of Duty, dude. I did, dude. It was. I was like <laughs> smearing the shit out of my eyes. I mean, it, mom, I have been in the trenches with these boys. Dude. Oh, holy shit. It's <laughs> so funny. Though. Dude. Star Wars was, I feel like, uh, that's why it holds such a special place in my heart is because it was one of those things that slid under the radar that I got to watch that, yes. like, felt, like, actually cool, you yeah. know? Yeah, and so, see, I don't know. I loved the trilogy as it came out, so I had a different... Overall, when they were coming out, it was a negative. You, you, you weren't really into it. Is that what I've gathered? Well, so, I mean... When it was coming out, like, I enjoyed it okay. Here's the thing. I had a really weird experience with episode three specifically because, like, the first half of that movie is like, oh, you know, this cool Star Wars movie and lots of, like, big action scenes and he's riding a lizard for some fucking reason. It's great. Yeah, God, it. that was... But by, but by the time you get to the back half of that movie... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. By the time you get to the back half of that movie, the movie starts going, oh, fuck, we have to, like, be set up for the yes. episode four. And then people just start <laughs> dying for yes. no reason. So just shit fast. starts happening for oh no reason whatsoever, <laughs> yeah. except that we know that it happens at some point. Dude. And so it can't not. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I love that. Dude, literally, that was one of my takeaways was like... It, this is how I think it all went down. Can I be... This is my conspiracy theory on Star Wars as, as we come to a close. I feel like this is the natural point to say this. Yes. I think George Lucas wrote the original 4, 5, and 6. Released them as his passion project. And they were popular and they were great. But they weren't a behemoth. Because they were still nerdy. And you couldn't get... You only got the people who were okay dealing with the nerdy, bad visual effects like could get on board that way okay now hold on the prequels are to add context to all the weird nerd shit all the weird nerd shit in four five and six is explained and dumbed down in one two and three to get everyone caught up on why four five and six are classics solidifying them as great <laughs> movies and then you also have a crop of people who just want like you said want to see a bona fide action movie on board, and now you've created the machine of Star Wars that Disney bought, and it was the prequels. Even though everyone hated them, it was like a, when Coke did New Coke. He got people back <laughs> into it. Yeah, it's like you, they had you had to piss off the whole fan base just to be like, "We're your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted us all along, dude." I I do I, agree with that. Yeah, I think, I think that's a the. The the problem oh, yeah, please, please. the problem yeah. I, I take with that theory, uh like in general, th like like this is the one objection that I have to that, which is like this was before my time. Like the original Star Wars trilogy was before my time. Yeah. I know that you can't uh tell how old I am. <laughs> like I feel like you'll like at any time you might randomly ask me is like, Oh, so you were around for like when they invented phonographs, right? Uh <laughs> You remember I'm that. I'm 36, Benz. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're not that far apart. We're not that far apart. Yeah. Less than 10. Um, but so the 12. original, the original, <laughs> the original Star Wars trilogy was before my time, mm. but the original Star Wars trilogy was also like a huge success on its own terms like as a yes. piece of like visual like like as oh, a yes. as a like special effects i agree like, masterpiece at the time like it, uh. it the effects have aged but yes like, it wasn't like oh we need to go fix this like shitty but, okay, thing i can let dude will i can't wait to fucking beat you in a goddamn nerd argument <laughs> oh my god dude <laughs> what i'm saying is most of the effects done in the original series were old school visual effects. 
which means it cannot be translated to a new audience when CGI came out and was able to build the worlds that CGI built. You could not, you couldn't compare the two. It could not carry into this new world because even if it did as a classic for a while, eventually it, it's all going to be CGI as opposed to like visual effects. Those version of visual effects, that's like the max and the most pristine version of those. But if they hadn't created one that had CGI, the series couldn't have continued. That's, that's my argument with it, is they had to get on board to with how movies were going to be made if they were going to keep this machine going. And I think that's what they did. I feel like that's also just like a, a given. Boom! No, I feel like it's just <laughs> a given, though. I, th- I think when, <laughs> when gotcha. visual effects update, when there's new visual effects, it's always you're always going to use the most up-to-date shit. Absolutely. So it, I think he was going to do that either way. You know, they're going to use the best shit either way. I agree, but I'm, the time. I think there there was a direct shift when things went from analog to digital. That was a very big pivot point, it, not just in the movie industry, but in society as a whole and the way we did things. And I think for sure what, what could have been is it was just like a, it was time to update because, yeah, it could have just been lost. Mm-hmm. It's like, hey, let's just like full revamp. There is this new thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe like how far do you know how far apart like number six was to number one? We should probably know this. It is us doing the podcast right um, now. But like, do you uh, know, the span that how much time that was. The Star Wars it, movies came out in the 80s. Uh, I think the last one came out in like the m- mid '80s, so I guess there wasn't as far of a jump. It, Maybe I, ten it years. Felt, or something? It felt like a long time when I was but a boy. But I yeah. think the I think <laughs> Jedi Back was when like, I was what, getting water from the 82? well. Uh, uh, and and uh, Episode One was probably what ninety nine. Yeah. 99. Oh, so that's like eighteen years, seventeen years. Yeah. That's, but it's a bit of a span. So, yeah, it's like it was maybe just time. He's like, we're getting but lost. We're yeah, getting forgotten. I, I th- I Let's revamp this shit. George mm-hmm. Lucas explicitly said at the time that the reason he, like, went forward with making a, a new Star Wars trilogy was just because that technology had kind of caught up to him, right? Like... That oh, was, is that like, legit? Then he could yeah. create the... That he could oh. do it. Yeah. That it was like, I... I We've been we've hypothesizing this <laughs> for <laughs> two See, this episodes. This is what you provide. This yeah, is what you dude, provide cold us. hard facts. So, yeah, we're <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, but one thing I want to just not lose that you yeah. said just a little bit ago was the... It, I wrote it down. It was when Mace Windu dies. And yeah. it was just how fast this, like, shift went. Because I, I remember it being this, like, progression of him getting more and more evil. But it was like literally felt like five minutes watching it this time where all of a sudden there was this conversation where Anakin goes to Mace Windu and is like, hey, Palpatine is a Sith Lord. <laughs> and all he's breaking it down. I was like, holy shit, he's doing the thing. He's going to be a good guy. Did I remember it wrong? <laughs> is Anakin a good guy? <laughs> and then all of a sudden they're in there. The fight goes down. And I think I wrote it down. Let me let me see here. No, I don't have the quote. But it essentially was like as soon <laughs> as he's like, you can't, you can't kill him. Oh, fuck. I don't remember exactly how it went down, but it was just it's, such a it's fast It's not the shift. way of the Jedi. It's not the way of the Jedi. And then yeah. immediately after, Palpatine kills Windu, and then he's just like, my master. He pledges himself to Palpatine. It was like, a minute ago, you were like mourning Windu, and then you're just like, actually, forget all that. It was such a fast, I just couldn't believe it. Yeah. So that's, it made me feel like they're just cramming so yeah. much in this last because, 30 minutes. Because, yeah, they realize like, oh shit, within the next half hour, this guy has to be Darth Vader. That's what I mean, dude. I remember it being a much more of a progression. They're having fun with Obi-Wan at the beginning of the movie. What the fuck is going on, dude? Yeah, dude. dude it was very which, weird. Which, by the way, that's another, like, when he then just calls, he then gives him the title of Darth Vader in that moment. Yeah. Uh, But that also, like, you know that that's what's coming. You know that that's what that film series is about. But you still expect there to be some explanation for that, but it's just like, oh, and here's the name you have to have for no reason. Yeah, he just drops it on him. <laughs> there is no explanation given. Dude. dude. Like, and what's re- okay, here's the thing, though. Oh, yeah, no explanation is still better than, like, way too weird and oh. dumb on-the-nose explanation, like in that fucking Han Solo prequel, when they were like, 
Han, no last name. You're by yourself? Han Solo. Solo. Oh that was God. worse. That was. All right. So I like that. Oh, really? Dude, I remember being like, Ugh. of course you Dude, did. Yeah. I, I have this to say. You know, you were talking about Anakin being all down and like switching. Has anyone asked? Maybe he's bipolar. Maybe all the galaxy needs to be safe is a therapist. Has anyone asked that? <laughs> if, they, if they'd invented well butrin in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> We wouldn't be having these issues. Okay, Padme was trying so hard. She had all these, like, don't shut me out. She kept doing this stuff, and then he'd share, you're right, babe. Here's the stuff that I'm feeling. And he, he she was trying. She was she trying was. to be a therapist so hard, dude. Dude. Well, another, another moment that was, like, that they just did, had to do for no reason, was at, like, the after the final fight with... Um, uh, you and I'm just gonna say you and McGregor. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. You have a voice that sounds like you'll say the actor's name, not the character's. <laughs> yeah. totally. uh, well, actually, fellas, you <laughs> and uh, McGregor. Um, uh, Ben, Ben Kenobi, the third <laughs> Ben on this podcast. Uh, yeah. Uh, at, like the final fight after he gets his legs cut off, uh, and he's just like burning to death. He clearly should be. He should kill him yeah, he in that just... moment. Obviously, like not even not as like you know th as a completion to like this is what the Jedi did every step of the way in this movie. Will uh, they were brothers? Of course they were brothers. And as a brother, would you just let him suffer in thing. a pit of fire? You're like, oh, you know what? You as brothers, the way I'm going to handle this is leave you in hell longer. That's what, no. And then Obviously. have you ever been mad at your brother before? But oh, when for he the caught last fire, 35 dude. years. When he caught fire, it crossed a bit of a line. Then yeah. I was like, Jesus, his whole body's in flames. Put man. him out. You put him out, with pull him up death. a little. Or with for death. For God's God. sakes. That's not yeah. the Jedi way. Y'all just couldn't be Jedi. I could be a Jedi. <laughs> you guys couldn't be Jedis. Because I could Wrong. make the hard decisions to let my friend burn in lava, okay? And then live. <laughs> That's what me and Obi Wan ruin, have. <laughs> ruin his son's life. Yes. <laughs> but then at the last minute, be like, no, I still love you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And then uh, right after he gets burned, then Padme had to die for no reason. Yeah, dude, a droid just going, I, there's no medical reason why she's dying. She seems to have lost the will really? to live. And then okay. he's like, we're going to start the operation now. I, and the operation was her just pushing. Yeah. I was like, what kind of operation? <laughs> yeah. She woke up and started pushing? Yeah. Just a droid going, booba, booba. <laughs> anyway, Uba. here's your $25,000 bill. They have the same medical system that we do in the United States. Yeah, dude, they have to get, yeah, you use United Health Insurance out there. <laughs> Blue, Blue Cross Blue Shield exists in the galaxy far, far away. <laughs> Oh uh, I, I, even though, even though I just shit on it, um, I will say, uh, just dying because you're sad is for sure a thing that happens. Yeah. Um, yeah. And usually it's R. like, R. Robin Williams. you're already, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, okay. Since I'm, I'm going to say this because I think it's an important observation about the death of Robin Williams. Uh, uh, in general, um, comedians are not a you know, particularly mentally healthy group of people. No. But as a depressed person, I feel like I could point to the comedians who genuinely have, like, what I'm going to call real depression. I'm the gatekeeper. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> who have real depression yeah. by how they were the ones who weren't surprised when they heard Robin Williams killed himself. Yeah. Uh, like, mm. that dude had, like, big tears of a clown energy his entire fucking life. Yeah. You know what uh, else did? Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to try really hard to keep this on track, and I'm not going to let you. <laughs> Yeah, right. going to I'm monologue get about back. suicide. What is this? An open mic you're at? <laughs> uh, no, that would be a good use of my time. <laughs> oh, slam. Uh, bitch, when, bitch. when Oh, it's gone. Uh when uh my dear wife Serenity, the other uh uh member of the statue club, uh 
when Serenity worked at a um, uh, like nursing home, uh, there was a term they would use for the people who were just dying for no medically induced reason just because like they didn't want to live anymore. Uh, and I think it's so funny because it has the silliest name, <laughs> which is Adult Failure to Thrive. <laughs> Sounds like a dad rock band. <laughs> Dude, oh, God. Adult, fail, adult failure to thrive playing down at the local marina. Get a bucket of beers and check out the guys. I they're all in cargo shorts and their sandals open beers. <laughs> I swear to God, I had like a, a life of like youth bumping up against adult failure to thrive <laughs> right up until I started comedy. And then I was like, okay, I, I can thrive now. I was in a bad adult dude. failure to thrive <laughs> bit there. You know? Yeah, dude. <laughs> that just means that like... Excuse me. Excuse me. You were in a juvenile failure to you're thrive right. at best. Oh, you're dude, right. you're I think right. all that adult failure to thrive means is sometimes that weird, not weird, but like that period of depression that you go through one of those will actually eventually be your last you <laughs> you enter one of those and go this is my last one i think <laughs> that's what i mean though sometimes i'll like sleep so much that i'm like i could just fade into yeah i'm gone yeah yeah that think, was that's how it was i think i think <laughs> that's the mild version and will has the like extra version right <laughs> or are we off course? Or I just I'm just asking the gatekeeper of depression if we can be card carrying members or not. No. <laughs> Obviously not. Look at you. You have energy. You're out doing things. You're making I'm not gonna say art. Uh, <laughs> oh, you wanna hear art? Not if anything to say about it. I have <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was Will walking onto this podcast set thinking we were going to feel like he was cool, you know? <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, I, but, but you know what? I don't hate fun, okay? I yeah. like fun. Oh, and yeah. you know what? You guys, you're right, though. That clip does bring up something important. Talking like Yoda is fun. It is. It is fun. <laughs> dude, doing that when you're on a playground tossing that around, <laughs> you ever toss around your Yoda voice? It a Yodi? Of course I do. Do you have a Yoda voice? Sure. Do you, uh, what, give me a sentence. I, uh, what's, should I give you like the human version and you say back the Yoda version? Yeah, I have to interpret it with the yeah. uh, sentence so, clauses <laughs> reversed, as is the Yoda's way. Okay, as is the Yoda's way. Um, okay. Uh, I, I'm sorry, ma'am. The, your insurance doesn't cover your son's procedure. <laughs> cover your son's procedure? Your insurance does not. <laughs> <laughs> That's, he would crush it. Paying for this for many years, you will be. <laughs> <laughs> Under crushing weight of medical debt like so many others. <laughs> You are. <laughs> Finding help, you will not. <laughs> and, and speaking of the Jedi just, you know, not living up to their fucking code, bro. <laughs> In the beginning of the movie, when after the, like, General Grievous on the, on the ship thing and everybody hits the evac and the ship splits in half and they're crash landing into the planet... They just take out a fucking radio a tower. A huge tower. A yeah. huge tower, dude. And he says something so cheesy like, oh, so smooth landing. <laughs> and that's it. They just breeze by it. Yeah. Because yeah, they they're always it. cool. They are so chill about everything. Yeah. yeah, dude. They murdered somebody. No, there was a city. Like, that landing, like, there was a city that just got 9-11. And they're like, look, that's... <laughs> Cost of doing business when you're the Jedi, baby. Baby. <laughs> yeah, the line was, another happy landing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, maybe it's just it really sound ironic. Did that sexual in the movie? I don't remember. He did. He looked over and he smiled and he said it. And I was like, wow, dude. Ooh. Obi-Wan's wild. Dude. Damn, did George Lucas for the first time ever direct someone by using the word coy? <laughs> <laughs> Get coy with it. Yeah, get a little coy. Um, I think one of the coolest things that this movie does is Order 66. Oh, that, yeah, That, to dude. me, when I was a kid, blew my mind. When it's yeah. like Order 66 and all the clones turn. Oh, that was fucked but up. But you 
like knew that was coming, right? No. You were a Star Wars fan. You understood that that was what happened. I never connected right? it. That's how but that's how wow. good it was. Me neither. See, I had just never seen Star Wars. I didn't know we were building up towards all the Jedi dying. That's why I was like oh. when I watched this movie it's like, "What the fuck?" Cuz cuz if you don't know the beginning, if you don't know the beginning of Star Wars, Episode three ends with no conclusion whatsoever. It's just, okay, we're fighting, and then all the bad guys win and kill everybody. It was And then it just stops. <laughs> what was like, before Endgame? What was before Endgame? Infinity War. Was that? Yeah, in, it was basically Infinity War, but Endgame came out <laughs> fucking 40 years ago, you know? <laughs> That's what it was. They did the old okay. switcheroo. And that's such a crazy way to end a franchise. <laughs> like, see how everybody's dead. Um, <laughs> I hope you've okay. seen the others. We created and destroyed an entire Jedi civilization in three movies. Bye. Well, they kind of did. The full rise and fall. Um, when, I, when I went to Infinity War in theaters... Um, and it had the the big, you know, everybody gets dusted. We're watching fucking Spider-Man turn into dust. Oh, we're all feeling emotions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a man in the theater I was at who, when it, like, everybody's dying, and then, like, credits start appearing, when it's, like, directed by Joe and Anthony Russo, I saw a man stand up in the theater and literally take his hat off and throw it to the ground dramatically <laughs> and yell at the screen, Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I paid for like, this. <laughs> like, he knew there was more coming, but he was so distressed in that moment. I... Yeah. That's I how thought well, that was beautiful. That's how well they have us trained on like a full like good guys win. You yeah. get what you want out of this movie. That the one time they didn't do it, it was like yeah, that was hard. It was, it was people. like people interpreted it as child abuse. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hurts, dude. I I I could never get into the Marvel for that wow. reason. There was too many of the people who were like the hat throwing down guy. <laughs> yeah, people get super serious about it. People get very serious. I'm like, I can't do that, dude. I can't. I fucking love it, though. You do? I, I can't help it. I watch it all. Hell yeah. All. Most of it. Actually, the fun ones. That's what I should say. Dude, I get into the TV shows. The TV, yeah. I, I fuck Daddy Disney for feeding me those sweet, sweet TV shows. I think everything they're doing on their studios for TV shows is great. I love all of it almost. Yeah, kind of crushing. I really like I TV know. Shows. Moon Knight, you guys been watching? Oh, I love it. I'm two episodes in. I finished it today. It's really good. Fuck. It was pretty fun. Uh, well, as a deeply middle-aged married man, uh, I have watched a lot of the, like, Mar like I'd watched a lot of the old Netflix Marvel TV shows. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. The um, Jessica Joneses, yes. all that Oh, bullshit. yeah, when Netflix was Luke doing Cage. it, when they were bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and now they're on Disney Plus, though, so now people, I think, have to like them again. I think that's the rule. Um. They're uh, good. Oh no, those ones are still bad. Even though they're on Disney Plus, yeah. but they're oh, real. Yeah. But they're real now. We're gonna yeah. we're they're, gonna have uh, they're the, canon. We're gonna have the uh, fat bald villain. What's his fucking name? Kingpin. We're gonna have Kingpin in the like proper MCU, right? Oh yeah, that's People a big gift for you guys. That. That's a big hey, oh, yeah, delicious. That's a huge gift. <laughs> some yeah. some fat bald representation. We're <laughs> yeah. overdue for it. Finally. With, I mean I, I, I You guys haven't had that since <sighs> um Fuck. Penguin. Um uh Paul Blart in a bald cap. Kevin James? That's his name? I, oh, I will tell you the name of the actor, as is my way. As is your <laughs> This is the way. I don't know, dude. Uh, dude, Anakin killing all the kids? Dope. Hell Dope. yeah. Dude, That's the kind of abortion laws I want. Yeah, the logic <laughs> stuff, bro, the logic stuff in this one, that was another one. He just immediately was like, yeah, I guess I'll just murder kids. Yeah. And, dude, this is, I just remembered this. This was the very first moment where I was like, this is fucked up that this happened. He is asked by, I think it was Palpatine first, to spy on the Jedi. And then the Jedi are like, okay, but you spy on Palpatine. <laughs> and he's like, are you kidding me? The audacity of you asking me to spy on this man. And he goes and rants to everybody about their asking him to spy. And he just said yes 
the backwards, dude, I can't help but see all the fucking fucked up plot points this time. It was bugging me a bit, man. Yeah. This, it, but it is the best visually. And it is probably some of my favorite characters. I think the so. The places we go. Kashyyyk, dude. The Wookiees. Dude. The wo- fleshing it. That's the thing that I think I, I liked that as a kid when I watched them was how they expanded the Star Wars world really well. Because they were able to, like, show Kashyyyk. They were able to yeah, show all these places. They could have done so much more. Because if you think about the Ewoks, that was such a deeper... They just took time to just, like, have goofy moments with the Ewoks. And they didn't do it with the Wookiees. It was just like, yeah, we're going to kill you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to I wanna see the Wookiees just, like, hanging out. Where do they live? What are yeah. they? I feel like we didn't even. How really do they get have sex? They're just fighters. That's all they <laughs> Doggy do. Doggy style. <laughs> Wookiees only. One fuck, assumes. <laughs> Wookiees only fuck doggy style. <laughs> That's all they know. Dude. They figured out how to stand up, but they can't. Like, yeah. Are what? You kidding me? Imagine a Wookiee coming. Oh, I can't do the noise. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. There are too many of them. What are we going to do? <laughs> I fucking love it. That's terrible. Yeah, that was such a sad scene. And okay, there's too many of them. What, what are, are we going, going to, to do? do? And then it's just like, hey, you know this character we made you love? He just killed that kid. That kid's dead now. <sighs> you knew. I mean, fuck, even I knew too. I knew that the point of these movies was that this is the guy who's eventually going to become Darth Vader. I know. Did you just love him unconditionally? They made us. Did yes, you? dude. They, they made us. Blame George Lucas, not me. I made a note that How says. How did you love him unconditionally? Hayden. Okay, it's not Hayden Christensen's fault. Uh, it's not his fault. Great, IMDb um, just got on the podcast. <laughs> but, like, he is a goddamn charisma vacuum. Yeah. A fucking black hole of likability. We're like, not letting him no, trash our guy like that. Beloved- we talked about this last episode. Hayden Christensen, Hayden Christensen is a great actor. <laughs> they yes. wrote him so poorly. Yes. That is not his fault. That's why I made a point of literally just saying it wasn't his fault. Oh, I thought you but were saying the opposite. No, I, I was, was saying, saying it's not Hayden because... Christensen's fault. Okay, I but was the, character the character is yeah, yeah, yeah. still a yeah. goddamn yeah, yeah, yeah. black hole of likability. I know, oh, dude. dude. What we talked about this last time because people would shit on like Anakin, and we would be like. You don't understand what he's been through because our kid brains. <laughs> his mom died, dude. Yeah, like, that was terrible. Yeah, he, he, had, he had to car race for his freedom. <laughs> his friends adored him. <laughs> yes, dude. Yeah. You, you see, like, that. He was like an incel who scored a babe. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, his whole character what? type. It doesn't go great <laughs> when that happens. Yeah, he's like, I don't know what to do with my life. My only purpose hating women is gone. Yeah, he ended up <laughs> killing her, dude. And the nostalgia makes up for that. The nostalgia heals. Even when I rewatch episode three, I still think, yes, the dialogue is the number one issue with that movie, but I love all those characters. I love all of them. Yeah. I See, I guess what it made me... C- because again, like watching these movies with the knowledge that like the you know that the arc of this story is that we're watching this character turn into Darth Vader. Yeah. Um, I I think that the way it went for me instead uh, was I wasn't watching a character transform into Darth Vader, this legendary villain. I was just watching this character who ends up becoming Darth Vader. And instead it just ruined Darth Vader for me. Cause I'm like, shut the fuck up, Annie. I don't give a shit about oh, you, dude. Darth. Oh, Darth Vader. That thing that it, one guy do you think you arbitrarily could be, hey, called you 20 minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> Real door, do you think you could be Anakin in a fight? The Carrick, the Space <laughs> Wizard, or Hayden Christensen? Either one. I, mean, I guess it doesn't matter. The answer is no in either case. Yeah, It'll still kill you. But I do know what you mean, and I do remember feeling that way, especially watching the very first one and knowing, like, that's Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, he's so cute. <laughs> you know, he's just like a kid like me. But dude, the the thing about uh about him turning into Darth Vader and knowing that the whole time, because I, I knew it the whole fucking time. I'd seen all the movies. I can't believe how bad it fucked me up. Like, revisiting these? (laughs) The second movie, the horrific stuff with his mom. This movie, when he's, like, going through the terrible stuff, he has to fight with Obi-Wan. 
Bro, I remember being heartbroken about all of that happening. Yeah. It's because they visualized it for me. I knew it happened. I knew he was going to become Darth Vader, but they could have just been like, and just so you know, even though you love this character, he turned into Darth Vader. And they end it like that and just don't even show the George like- Lucia, George Lucas walks out onto like just like a <laughs> black screen. He's like, hey, kids. And, uh, 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 That's what and, I and wish And you see, happened. after that, uh, um, <laughs> after that, uh, Palpatine puts on a cryomechanic suit. Now, what a cryomechanic suit does. <laughs> yeah, because that shit really fucked me up. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it revisiting it, I was like, yeah, yikes. It, it was dark. Trauma, trauma, trauma. I, but now I, we're- I think what I needed, I think what I needed from that movie to really appreciate the transformation was to uh, actually see him like slitting the throats of the children. I really, if I- <laughs> You needed a bit if more. I'd, <laughs> if I'd gotten like- because you know what? It could still be bloodless. They're light slavers. It cauterizes the wound as it's going across. Also good on George Lucas for doing that. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there doesn't have to be any yeah, blood. Y- you want some live leak video of Anakin Skywalker cutting off heads yeah. of children. I want him splitting kids in half. Not horizontally, vertically. Yeah, vertically. All right, I want to see brains. Hot dog style. <laughs> <laughs> Outside of this moment and Every other lightsaber moment, it was just lousy with limbs, bro. They're just fucking <laughs> flying everywhere. There's Why couldn't they give us a couple so kids' limbs? So goddamn many hands get cut off That's in this what movie. I couldn't help but think, like, Jesus, more? Mace Windu's arm came off. I forgot that. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Poor Mace, man. It what does George Lucas have against hands? I think <laughs> CGI was just caught up to here. <laughs> uh, dude. Yeah. Um, what time are we at? We are at hour six, and we Fuck. probably did like a, I don't know, 15 pre. Dude, we could fucking get, do, should we start moving towards the Patreon? Yeah, we can slip into the page. Yeah, we can start yeah. moving towards that direction. Do we have any final thoughts on episode three? We kind of took it all the way to the conclusion of Darth Vader getting there, and I mean, if you don't know any other details, that's on you. Yeah. Did you have any like uh, culminating thoughts as you were watching it, or have you, do you feel like you've seasoned us with those? Properly, um, good and proper. I I hope that uh, someday George Lucas gets the rights back so that he can make special editions of the prequels. Oh, <laughs> I wanna I wanna see a fucking version of all the prequels with even more bullshit yes. CGI in there, just like he did with the old ones. I want there to be an even I want more. The, I, I want, want them the... to flesh out the the like descent. I want there to be more. Like, more bullshit between, like, Mace Windu and Palpatine. Like, they sent him on more missions. Yeah. That's what I want more of, because I hate how fast it was. Why? Okay. Another thing that happens for no reason, because he has to get to his, like, pre- uh, or his Star Wars, like, baseline. Uh, Why is it that, like, uh, shooting lightning at Mace Windu is the only time it fucking transforms your face into a monster? He can do that the rest (laughs) of the time, but when you have to shoot at a black dude, it just turns you into... It turns you into a fucking mongoloid. <laughs> Jesus. I guess we're in the Patreon section now. That's Wait, some, is, that a, is that not a good term? That is who that we're, we're, oh, we're is, dipping our toes into some come town language. Wait, is that, really? what's, what's, what is mongoloid? mongoloid? What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> that just was in movies I've seen. What's that mean? Uh, I mean, uh, in like, like common parlance. Yeah. Why is that bad? Because it refers to a specific racial group is why it's Which bad. one? The Mongols. Did you they... know there's a country called Mongolia? That's where that's from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I thought that meant a deformed person. That's uh, how one of the ways people use it. I mean, people in general, it doesn't necessarily refer to like but a also... physical deformity, but like Man. mental retardation of some kind. Ah. Uh, yeah. But- Mangled, you know, there's the word mangled. Maybe you just got that mangled up with mongoloid. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Like, I, like a good example would be like when Anakin jumps over Obi Wan, he doesn't get mongoloid; he gets mangled. Yeah, mangle, mongol, mangle, mongol. Classic case of that. Oh yes. yeah, you're right. You're on mangoloid is what I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I, I think I don't know if you guys. I'm leaving that in because I don't. I don't think that is that bad. Is that actually bad? Oh, well, you can leave it in. I mean, it was just a learning moment. 
I mean, <laughs> I didn't know it yeah. was that bad, but as he was saying it, I was like, oh yeah, that probably definitely yeah. is. But it's not like a term I use a lot. So no, I, I don't know really if know. you guys. I don't know if you guys do episode titles, but if you do, I f- for sure this has to be now titled Mangaloid. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is the one we break. Yeah, we break and we just call it Mangaloid. <laughs> Mangaloid, Star Wars, also, Star, Star Wars, Wars episode, episode three. three Mangaloid. Ka- colon Mangaloid attacks. That's beautiful, dude. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Revenge of, of the, the Mangaloid. Mangaloid. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <new> yeah, Mangaloid. <laughs> uh, it has to. Yeah, yeah. We have to. We we're gonna go. We to can't the do every single one. Yeah. yeah. What are we gonna do? Well, will um. Do you want to? Will does stand up comedy. Um, you can, is that coming up from my phone onto the thing? It is. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Who's how texting me? Um, it's like a group chat. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, I'll, it's not, no, not on the phone. I'm just saying it's the, the Bing. I know I the Bing is coming that for, is it dropping down on the video feed from my phone? No, 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 no. Okay. That we're seeing. good then. Yeah. Yeah. Not that I'm seeing. We're going to see that whole thing that just happened there. <laughs> no one's going to hear that. Hey, as long as we're already cutting right I there. mean, I'm assuming no one's also going to hear you say a slur, but prove me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a sl- I still don't know if that's a slur. I got to ask my dad about that. <laughs> we're going to have to do. I'm just. Pre- <laughs> yeah. If you guys don't have any other points, Will, thank you so much for joining us today. I've been a treat. You have. Oh, my God. How did you know? I was going to say it. You have been a treat. Yeah. A real treat. You're I'd a stand-up comic. Can you tell anyone where to find you or anything? Um, I mean, if you want to try, uh, <laughs> add me on Facebook. I yes. assume my name is somewhere in the description. Oh yeah, I'm, well, on, I'm on Twitter, at Will underscore Doherty. Yeah, I'm not you- spelling it. <laughs> but it's doe and then Erdy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh and uh yeah, you can find Will there. Uh, Will does a comedy show every uh first Saturday. Will Doherty Loves Company in Lincoln, Nebraska at Storm Hell, Cellar. Yes. Uh and he does another show. When do you do the backline one? Oh, uh I'm getting poached from backline. So Oh, oh really? you're not you're not backline? You wanna talk shit on them in the Patreon? <laughs> uh, sure. Hell yeah. That. Yeah. Fuck yeah. We're going to talk about that on the Patreon uh, that you can pay $5 for at patreon.com forward slash oh yeah pod. You guys have to tell me when you're going to do that. I want to be part of one of those. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can yeah. pay $5 for that over on patreon.com forward slash oh yeah pod. That was a sexy. Nice. Dude, we harmonized well there. Good yeah, job. We did. Damn. We were crushing this. Uh, do you have any other things, any other places or things to tell people about you? Self promotion time. You've earned it. Um, uh, <laughs> well, if you tip well, uh, you can order from the Da Vinci's on 11th and G Street. I work most days. Lincoln, so. Nebraska. A real life comedian will deliver you your pizza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't guys, ask him if, to tell you a joke. Uh, you can you can follow me on Instagram at Benny Putts or on Twitter at Benny underscore Putts uh, or on TikTok at Oh Yeah Benny P. Yes, you can check me out on Instagram at ben, <laughs> Instagram at Ben or on TikTok at Benjamin Webb. You can also check out the YouTube. Did we go over that? Uh, watch the clips. We're doing full video episodes, so maybe you're already seeing us right now. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Johnny Warlord. I did bring this for Johnny. Johnny Warlord, baby. <laughs> Johnny Warlord. Johnny Warlord. You better look out for those clips because he's working on them. Yeah, dude. He's, every day. He's cooking them up. Shout out Johnny. Johnny yes. Warlord. That's my nephew. Uh, That's o- he's dope as shit. He, uh, he is. He's Johnny Warlord. <laughs> I fucking love that. Yeah, dude. Uh, and guys, you can help out the podcast by going over to Patreon. Patreon. Going over to Spotify, leaving five stars there. Apple Podcast, you can leave a review. Five stars there is always helpful. Um, yeah. As well as going over to Patreon and giving us five dollars every month at Patreon.com forward slash. Oh yeah, Pod. You're gonna get the podcast episodes a week early, as well as the extra Patreon episodes, which we are about to hop into right now. Other than that, bye. Stay tuned.